I've got the joinery done for the long aprons and stretchers. And these, of course, are square connections, joinery, mortise and tenon joints. Uh, by the way, eventually, this, these long aprons are going to be carved with that floral decoration. And then down here, there's going to be a lot of molding on the face of this and uh, some inlay of ebony and uh, other woods. So, but now I'm getting ready to work on the smaller, long, shorter um, aprons and stretchers that will go into the side here. And since the legs will be oblique at, at an 8 degree angle, um, those mortise and tenon joints are going to be angled. Here are the short aprons and I've already trimmed off this end at the 8 degree angle. I did that with the radial arm saw and checked it closely. I use this drafting device, I suppose you'd call it, triangle, adjustable to various angles. And I set it at 8 degrees and used that to fix my bevel gauge at that 8, eight degree angle. And then that lets me check uh, to see if, if I'm getting the right right uh, angle on the on the saw and that that does indeed look good so I've got to cut the other end of the and that's also beveled so if we look at the the drawing the long longest the, the longest dimension is at the bottom and that's 7 and 13 sixteenths at the extremities of the tenons and then up here at the top the dimension is 6 and 11 sixteenths notice that I've got on the drawing I show an imaginary line here that would be um, if the tenon did not have this shoulder and was all the way up to the top, I could measure it. But uh, if I measure from here, that's not going to be the correct dimension. So I've got this imaginary line in here on both ends, and that shows up 6 and 11 sixteenths up on the top face. So I can use these dimensions to get the um, 8 degree angle because I know I've got my piece the thickness is 3 and or the width is 3 and 31 30 seconds and I've checked that and these indeed are that that width so if I can use these dimensions to get the 8 degree angle or I can use the bevel gauge or I can use both. I prefer to use both ways. Then I've got a check on, uh, on the uh, actual uh, cut dimension. So the 7 and 13 sixteenths dimension is at the bottom edge and I've got a rule here and I can set that right on the outside edge there and mark 7 and 13 sixteenths which is right there right there 
So then let's mark the other one as well. So seven and thirteen sixteenths. It's better if I hold the ruler so it's close to the edge. Seven and thirteen sixteenths is right there. On the top edge, the dimension is six and eleven sixteenths. Six and eleven sixteenths, and that is right, right here. And let's just go ahead and get that marked on this one. Six and eleven sixteenths is right there. Uh, okay, now I've got the mark here. And I've got the mark over here. I can transfer that over to the same face with a square. And now I've got a mark here and I've got a mark here. And I can check uh, with the bevel gauge to make sure that they line up. And to me, that's, that's dead on. I can see. So that's where the cut needs to be. And I've checked that two different ways. So I know it's right. It's an eight degree angle, and it's going to be the right length. Make a mark there. Make a mark right there. Got a mark right here. Put the bevel gauge on there. And it lines up with the marks. And there it is. So I will go ahead then and use my radial arm saw to to cut on this line and then I need to mark out the shoulders for the for the tenons.